There was a man. There was a man. His name was Saul. His name was Saul. He hated Christians. He hated Christians. And that's not all. And that's not all. He chased them far. He chased them far. He chased them wide. He chased them wide. But now we're changed. But now we're changed. God will provide. God will provide. And on the road to Damascus, a ray of light shone down from the sky. Then Jesus said, So why do you hate me? Then the scales fell down from his eyes. He is now Paul, who loves the Lord Jesus. Can you imagine such a surprise? And now he shares with us God's wisdom. I bet the people could not believe their eyes. There was a man. There was a man. His name was Paul. His name was Paul. He loved the word. He loved the word. And that's not all. And that's not all. He preached it far. He preached it far. He preached it wide. He preached it wide. The gift of grace. The gift of grace. God will provide. Hopeless. Absolutely hopeless. My friend's heart is just so far from Jesus. Have you ever felt like this? Well, today's lesson is about hope. We start with Saul hates the followers of Jesus. In our story today, Saul is known for hating Christians. It even says in the book of Acts, Saul was breathing out murderous threats against the Lord's people. Any Christians that were caught by him and his friends were imprisoned or stoned or worse. Back in Acts chapter 7, these people dragged Stephen out of the city and began to stone him. Meanwhile, the witnesses had laid their coats at the feet of a young man named Saul. And I'm sure the followers of Jesus thought that Saul would never become one of them. But there is hope. Now, the second thing we need to learn in today's lesson is that Jesus loves Saul. Saul might have hated Jesus, but Jesus loved him. Since when? Since before the world was created, God chose Saul and loved him and planned to change the heart of this angry man, as it says in Ephesians chapter 1 verses 4. He spoke to Saul on the road to Damascus and said to him, Saul, why do you hate me? And God had a plan for Saul. He used Saul as his vessel or as his tool to share his love. You see, there is hope. Now, I love Saul because he's one of my favorite Bible characters. He says that he has nothing to boast in life except Jesus. He trusted God more than anything else. How amazing is it that God loved his children so much and he goes so far to bring them back home, even sending Jesus on the cross to die for them. And if he can save Paul, if he can save me, he can save anyone. So, let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we bring before you our friends who don't know you. We bring before you our friends and family who need you in their lives. Lord, we pray that you will use us to share the love of Jesus with them. God, we thank you that you were able to save somebody with a hard heart like Saul. Won't you use us in the same way? We pray this in your wonderful name, Lord. Amen. How's it going, family? As many of you know, uh, today is quite a special day. It is Father's Day, and so to all our dads, not only biological, but some of those who play roles as spiritual parents, um, 
And those who are guardians, we are wishing you a happy Father's Day. And part of the reason we as Christians can celebrate Father's Day is because we have an incredible Father in Heaven who sent His Son to die on the cross for us. And that is wonderful news. And as a special treat, one of our youth, Joshua Whitehouse, has put together a little uh, Lego stop motion video uh, about the prodigal son. A beautiful story about how a father takes a son who has no right to be part of his family anymore and he accepts him and brings him in. So why don't you go check that out, that video will come up now. And we hope you have a blessed Father's Day further.